Welcome to this video tutorial on Prozac. Prozac, or fluoxetine, is an antidepressant in the Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor, or SSRI, class of drugs. It is given to treat major depressive disorder, panic attacks, obsessive compulsive disorder, bulimia, and premenstrual dysphoric disorder, which is a severe form of premenstrual syndrome. It also has some off-label uses, including fibromyalgia, migraines, and Raynaud phenomenon. Prozac is usually started at 20 mg per day orally in the morning. The dose may be increased after several weeks if improvement is not observed, but not to exceed 80 mg per day. The adverse effects of Prozac include the following. GI symptoms including nausea, diarrhea, loss of appetite and weight loss, sexual dysfunction, central nervous system stimulation, such as anxiety, nervousness, and insomnia, headache, drowsiness, weakness, dizziness, sweating, increased risk of GI bleeding, which is worsened by the use of NSAIDs, aspirin, or warfarin. There is a black box warning for Prozac in all antidepressants. When given for depression, Prozac has been shown to cause an increase in the incidence of suicidal thoughts in patients under age 24. Therefore, children and young adults should be closely observed if drug therapy is started. When considering Prozac use during pregnancy, several things should be kept in mind. Prozac falls in Pregnancy Category C, which means animal studies show adverse effects on the fetus and there are no adequate, well-controlled studies in humans, but benefits may account for use of the drug despite the risks. Some studies have shown heart malformations in newborns and prolonged hospitalization with respiratory support needed. Prozac is in the lactation category of L3 for neonates and L2 for older infants, which means it is probably compatible but there are no controlled studies and unforeseen effects to the breastfed infant are possible. The benefits of the drug have to be weighed against the risks. To avoid drug interactions, if the patient will be switching from an MAOI or monoamine oxidase inhibitor to Prozac or any SSRI, there should be at least a 14-day lapse between the drugs. When switching from Prozac to an MAOI, Prozac should be discontinued at least five weeks before starting the MAO inhibitor. Serotonin syndrome is a serious and sometimes fatal reaction that may occur when an SSRI and an MAO inhibitor are combined. It is characterized by the following symptoms. Mental status changes, such as agitation, delirium, and coma. Autonomic instability, such as tachycardia, labile blood pressure, dizziness, and hyperthermia. Neuromuscular symptoms, such as tremor, muscle rigidity, incoordination, and seizures. And GI symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The risk of serotonin syndrome increases if other drugs are taken that also increase serotonin, including other antidepressants, street drugs such as ecstasy, St. John's wort, and tryptophan, among others. When educating the patient taking Prozac, be sure to tell them the following. Inform the doctor right away if you notice worsening depression or other psychiatric conditions, unusual changes in behavior or mood, or suicidal thoughts. Some improvement should be seen within one to two weeks, but it may take four or five weeks before feeling the full benefit of the medication. If diabetic, Prozac may affect blood sugar levels, therefore regularly monitor your blood sugar and the doctor may need to make adjustments to medication or diet. The drug may cause dizziness or drowsiness, so avoid driving or using machinery until you are sure such activities can be performed safely. Avoid alcoholic beverages. Inform the doctor or pharmacist if you are taking other products that cause drowsiness, including antihistamines, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, narcotic pain relievers, or alcohol. Do not stop taking Prozac without first consulting your healthcare provider. Some conditions may become worse or even severe when the drug is stopped abruptly. It is best if the dose is gradually decreased under the doctor's supervision. The effects of the drug decrease slowly over two to three months. Prozac can stay in the body for many weeks after the last dose and may still interact with other medications. It is important to tell your healthcare provider if Prozac has been taken in the previous five weeks before taking any other medication. Medication should be stored away from light and moisture. Do not store in the bathroom. Do not flush medications down the toilet or pour them in a drain. Keep all medications away from children and pets. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and be sure to subscribe and like us on Facebook.